All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechakudash, Yahweh. That is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And we'd like to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hopefully elect. And today, this message is going to be titled. The stars shall fall from heaven, you know, going into the nuclear destruction of America. You see, and I got a clip that I'm going to play from um, over there in Israel. This is just a vivid illustration of what's going to happen over here uh, in America. You see, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth. Save the Lord and cause them to be written in paper, but they are faithful and true. You see, so the Lord, a hey, He told us to speak in the ears of His people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, a hey, the uh, the words of prophecy. You see, the say before, uh, warning you of what World War Three. You see, because hey, that's a prophecy that we're waiting to be fulfilled, to wipe America off the face of the earth, so the Righteous elect can be delivered, and our Lord Yahweh Shai Kingdom can be set up here on earth uh, in righteousness forevermore. You see, I'm gonna get uh, in fact, it's the book of Revelations, chapter 11, and verse 14. It says, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe come up quickly. You see, and those are the words of prophecy that we should be uh, prophesying unto the people. Hey, the second woe, the second woe is past, behold, the third woe come up quickly. World War Three is right around the corner. You even just had uh, Sleepy Joe on The Voice uh, TV show, and he said an all-out war is at hand, man. You see? But you got uh, you niggas out here who want to scoff and mock. Well, you're blind to the fact that America is going to be taken down brutally uh, by the way of nuclear missiles, man. And if you don't repent and return back into your hobble by Shima al Shah, you're going to get caught up in that. You see? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, and verse 5. And it says, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. You see, so this this war is going to consist of a lot of bombs and missiles going off. That's why I say this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. You see? This is the book of uh, Revelation chapter 6. In the verse 12, and you see that, uh, like I say, this one shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Look at how Russia and um, Ukraine are, are going to war with each other. Scrape missiles and drones, you see. The same thing with uh, Palestine and those Israelis over there. Missiles and drones, man. You see. Yeah, it started off with they had the people paratrooping in the city, you know, but... It went from that to scrape missiles being shot up and what hospitals being blown up. They say uh, kindergarten, a uh, kindergarten building got blown up over there in Palestine. These are the same judgments that set to come here to America. You see, this is Revelation six and verse twelve, and it says, "And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake." And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And what's going to cause that great earthquake? Uh, those nuclear missiles, man. It says, And the stars of heaven fell upon the earth, even as a fig tree cast of her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. You see? Talking about those missiles coming down, man. You see, and this just will this will happen in um Iran. This would say Iran has launched almost two hundred ballistic missiles 
into Israel in a major escalation of the Middle East conflict. And, and by this taking place uh, uh, daily, like I said, it's ramping up. Is a major escalation in this. And the scriptures also tell you how the least of the flock shall draw them out. You see? Talking about Iran and uh, Israel. Because Iran is backed by Russia. And Israel is backed by America. And, and eventually, America is going to get dragged in this war. Hey, it's been articles that came out how uh, America has been under attack by Iranian um, ships. You see? Let me play this clip real quick, though. Iran has launched almost 200 ballistic missiles into Israel. Sirens were heard right across the country as residents headed for bomb shelters. Every illustrator likes it, the stars shall fall, because that's what it look like. A star falling, man. But those are missiles. And this is the same judgment that's going to come here to America. There's going to be so many. Hey, it's going to, uh, it's going to flood this place, man. It's going to cause the lake of fire, man. And if you don't repent, once again... You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and return back to your rightful uh, powers, your your true gods, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah being His only begotten Son, who you know as Jesus Christ, who came down in the flesh and shed His blood for us. If you don't repent and return back into those powers, hey, this is what you got to look forward to, man. Stand upon the sea of glass and watch this place be destroyed in that same fashion, man. Now, and they said there's only 200. America got 200 million waiting on it. Now, they say it ain't that many, but it's that, hey, warheads. For all you people don't want to believe. Now, I grabbed this. Revelation 9 and 12 says, One woe is past. And behold, there come two woes more after. You see, World War One, World War Two has already passed. And hey, World War Three, hey, we waiting on that. And hey, we ain't even waiting for real. It's just a matter of time before it's um is it's official. Let me see. Okay, yep, this book of Revelations, chapter 9, and verse 16, and it says, And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, thousand. and I heard the number of them. And this is talking about um, the, the army of horsemen, talking about those missiles, you see? If I'm not mistaken, let me see. Yep. This is Joel 2 and verse 4. It says, The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. It says, Like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains, shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. And this is talking about those missiles. You see? Like I said, 200,000, 200 million missiles. Hey, got America written all over it, man. You see? Nukes, warheads, whatever. You see? 200 million missiles is set to come here to America. And it's going to rain down. It's going to be that strange rain. It's going to wipe this place off the face of the earth, man. You see? Uh, yep. Continuing on, it says... 
before before their before their face the people shall be much pain all faces shall gather blackness you people are going to be spooked to death man you see like the brother be going to you're going to be in that perplexed mind state it says they shall run like mighty men they shall climb the wall like men of war and they shall march everyone on his way and they shall not break their rank neither shall one thrust another they shall walk everyone in his path and when they fall upon the sword they shall not be wounded you see going into uh they not going to break their rank uh uh, the so-called dome, uh, America's uh, uh, missile defense system is not going to be able to stop these missiles. The Lord going to have the spirit on them, but they're going to make it to America. They're going to wipe this place off the face of the earth, man. You see? It says, they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. And it says, the earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. Hey, that's going to be, they call it uh, nuclear. What all that soot be going up in the, in the air, all that smoking you see on those Ukraine videos, man. It look dark as hell over there all the time, man. And that same judgment is set to come here to America, man. Back to the book of Revelations. Yep, 6. Verse 12 again from the top. And it says, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell upon the earth. Even as a fig tree cast of her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it was rolled together, talking about that mushroom cloud, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. You see? And it says, Oh, matter of fact, got another quick precept. Like it says, it's going to um, cause that great earthquake. Book of Isaiah, chapter no, 24, verse 19. It says, the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. And what's going to cause that? These nuclear missiles, man. And shall be moved like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. Because when that day comes, and the Lord send those missiles over here to America, and Esau eat on the so called white boy, hey, this nigga gonna fall, he's never gonna rise again. America gonna be wiped off the face of the earth, hey, to be a perpetual uh, wilderness, man, desolation. And our Lord Yahweh Shah Kingdom is gonna be set up. Hey, forevermore in righteousness. You see? That Revelation chapter 6 and verse yeah, 15. I start at 14 again. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of his out of their place, and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bond man, and every free man hid themselves in the dens in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains of so like and said to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Ain't hey, no one, only the elect is going to be able to stand, man. You see? Once the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Shah get the shoe nose missiles off, it's only going to be the elect 
is who's going to be able to uh, uh, withstand uh, that judgment, man. Because they're going to get beat up on those chairs and they're going to watch the destruction of America. Matter of fact, I'll stop right here. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 15 and verse 2. And, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of the Most High. You see, they're going to be standing upon the sea of glass a worshiping and praising Yahweh by Hashem al for his great mercy for, for delivering them from this great destruction, man. Because you will be left here. You're going to be melted off your flesh. And Lord willing, we're not a part of that. Lord willing, we're a part of uh, the elect to get the victory over this beast and this system, man. To be beamed up, receive those new bodies, crowns on our head from our Lord Yahweh Shah, with palms in our hands to watch this place burn. You see? So, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. I want to end it off by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hakudash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learn this truth from. And shalom to the hopefully late.